Hi, cutie pies. It's Lenikia. I was about to go to bed, and then I was like, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and give you all this video. Um, so this is Basketball Wives Season 8, Episode 16, A Mess. Um, and not because it was uh, like this great episode. It's a mess because I, listen, y'all know I've been saying, oh, I don't do it in the social media, but like the last week or two, I have been getting into the whole social media thing, like looking on their posts and seeing what they're saying. And OG is like, y'all should go to her story right now because she has all the she has some of the messages that Chad was sending her and everything mm. but we'll get into that we'll get into that we'll get into it so um okay so we pick up where we left off they actually backtrack on this episode because so we pick up with Cece telling um Kristen you know pretty much no I'm not gonna I don't want to talk to you Byron doesn't want to you bringing him up Byron does not want you talking about him on camera point blank period I don't understand what Kristen doesn't understand about that but it is what it is so, Cece is walking off. They get in the vehicle. We find out that they don't let Jackie walk. They do stop and get her. Kristen is crying, boohooing. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> like, I'm so sick of Kristen. I just don't care. Okay, so, um, oh, then they all, so they all join together and they're like, oh, Kristen, we see Malaysia says she's lost for words and everything. I, it's like she's blaming Cece. And I'm like, this is not Cece's fault. Like, if Kristen would stop talking, if she had never spoke anything ill about Byron on camera, this wouldn't be in this the place that it is in right now. Had Kristen not went on film as well and said she and Cece were not that close of friends anyways, like you did this and I it, it baffles my mind that she does not understand this. I'm like, what, what, what are we missing? Are we missing something? <laughs> because I'm not seeing it. So then... They all tell her, um, um, so they all tell Kristen, we see that, um, Cece is the problem, and she keeps Byron, and they say we see Cece keeps Byron from the family, and we're like, no, Byron is a grown man that does what he wants, like, I don't know who thinks that their relationship is ran by Cece, because I certainly do not, it feels like he is the lead in their relationship, and she follows what he like his direction or whatever. Like I think she has, you know, her own thing going and everything, but you could clearly tell he is the leader of the relationship or whatever. I don't know. Like, ooh, child, it's, it's just a mess. So, um so then they Shani goes on and again and uh she goes in again about how aggressive OG is and how all this happened because of OG and OG wanted to fight everybody. And I'm like, what part of this are you? Why? This show is so frustrating because it's like, what part of this are you not seeing where Evelyn was chasing Cece down with, uh, Cece says later on it was a bamboo stick. What part of that are you not seeing? Like, uh, y'all, this show is so frustrating. Because even in all the other shows that you might watch, like The Housewives, Married to Menace, they will, even if they like someone and they don't like another person, if one person does wrong, they will say, like, they'll admit that in their confessionals, that even when they're talking to that person, they'll admit, like, that person was wrong. And this show is the only show that I know where they will not admit it. They will, like, I'm like, what part did... Y'all really thought Evelyn was really running up to Cece to talk? She didn't say anything to her. And then they show the scene again where they were all run when Evelyn was running after Cece and then OG was running after Evelyn. And you could hear them saying, OG, don't, OG, or whatever. And I'm like, what y'all saying, OG, why y'all not saying Evelyn don't? Like, I don't understand it. Like, this that's why this show is so frustrating. And honestly, I said I was gonna do this, re like, review it again next season, but. Just seeing how they're trying to move and just keep all keep Evelyn and Shani and all them on the show and kick out all the other people. I'm not gonna even watch this show next season because it's so frustrating. It's like y'all they want to paint this narrative of OG being aggressive, and I'm like, is the network not looking at comments? Are y'all not watching other people's reviews? Are y'all not paying attention to what's going on? And like, I know y'all see the comments when you post a video, like. I, I don't understand it. So anyways, that's the narrative. OG was aggressive. She started it all. She made it the OG show and everything. I'm like, oh my gosh. And so then OG says she's upset with Shawnee because 
Shawnee, um, it's like she overlooks everything that Evelyn does. She never holds Evelyn, Malaysia, or any of those girls accountable for anything that they do, yet she always puts OG to the fire. Like, they always make a point to tell OG she's aggressive. Um, she wants to fight all the time. They always make sure to point that out, but they never hold those same standards to the other girls. And so she's she's frustrated with it and she's sick of it. Um so they so then OG tells um okay, so then the girls go out to party. The other house, like the Shawnee Shawnee's house and Evelyn's house go out to party. And then CC OG and um Jackie go out too for drinks. So it's their excuse me, for dinner and everything. So it's two separate they're just gonna be two separate houses, which they should have just did in the beginning. After the first night just be separate. <laughs> um, so then, Shawnee says that she wants to have, she tells the girls that she wants to have a last lunch, but she doesn't want OG to be there because she feels, I guess she doesn't feel safe with OG there. So she wants to talk to Jackie to tell Jackie to keep OG away. And they want to invite Cece and Jackie. I'm like, you cannot believe, you cannot possibly think, like, that's just a setup. I'm sorry. If I was Cece, I wouldn't go to that. That's just a setup. All these girls don't like me, and you want, like, why would I go to that? Stop it. So, um, so anyway, she tells them that she's going to speak to Jackie to see if Jackie can tell, to get Jackie to tell OG that she's not invited to lunch. That's pretty much what she wanted to say. Um, so then, Cece says she does not think they, um, should get together anymore. That, at the dinner, she says, Okay, so that was the, the Shawnee's table at their part. They were dancing and stuff. At the dinner with Cece, OG, and Jackie, Cece says, I don't feel like we should get together anymore. And Jackie's still feeling like I'm pulled between the two circles. I'm like, really, you're not because the other girls don't like you. But okay, well, right at this point, we're just going to assume Jackie does not realize they don't like her. Um, so she says, we shouldn't get together at all on the trip. And Jackie's just like, how am I going to get everyone together? And I'm like, you're not. So then... Um, they are talking about the trip, and Malaysia says OG and CC are the problem. And I was like, really, Malaysia? I, see, everybody keeps saying how they always liked Malaysia, and I've never liked Malaysia because I always thought she was a follower. So now they're like, hey, and look at you following Evelyn and Shawnee and whatever. And I'm like, she's always done that. She's always followed someone in the group or whatever. Like, I may, like, I never saw her as this leader or anything where, you know, she are this stand alone, stand by her own. She's always been a follower to me. So I'm not surprised by this. But anyway, she says she feels that CC and OG have been the problem. And I'm like, um, you say y'all are all family and everything. It seems like you didn't really like CC that much either because you've chosen Kristen, um, where you said you were going to be neutral, not take sides. You love Byron and all that, but you're clearly taking, clearly taking sides. So then we see that, um, Evelyn says, Shh. okay, so then this is the next day. This is after they party and stuff. So then Evelyn says, oh, I reached out to Chad about the DMs that OG had talked about, you know, said Chad DM her heavy. And they was like, what? You got receipts? You got receipts? And Shawnee Messy said, so I love receipts. So then Evelyn says um, that Chad says, no, um, she was coming on to me and all that kind of stuff. It wasn't the other way around. And so then Evelyn starts reading the receipts and it's like um, OG wishing him a happy Father's Day, a happy New Year. And it's like he's not responding to anything. And she's calling him chatty. Is it Chatty Bear or something like I don't know? And they're all just kikiing and laughing about it or whatever about um, the information. <sighs> so then we see Jackie. So then the next so Evelyn is like, I'm gonna post these receipts because um, Kwame needs to know that what his um, woman is doing and all that. And uh, you know, Evelyn always talks about domestic abuse, domestic violence, and being the face and the victim and I don't know. The more this season has went on, especially like these last few episodes, it just, I'm starting to kind of believe Tammy 
about that maybe they were get they got into an argument or something and I don't I don't know it's like who was still who contacts someone that you said abused you to get receipts like who does that like that's what I don't understand and then Shawnee had the nerve to say oh this must have really took Evelyn to another place because she's never she's grown and I'm like girl Shawnee it doesn't matter how much you try to spin this narrative that Evelyn's this changed person. OG's aggressive. We see what we see on the screen. Evelyn says every season she's changed. And every season she does the same thing. So where's the change in that? Like, get out of... Oh my gosh, y'all. It's just so frustrating to watch at this point. It really is. It's just frustrating. Like, this episode, I honestly was in and out of the the episode the whole time so the review might sound like it because i literally was in and out of this episode and so then shawnee sits down with jackie um and she tells jackie that she does not want um og at the dinner because she's aggressive and jackie says in her confessional but i'm like jackie said to shawnee she says in her confessional um so is malaysia and Evelyn getting this same talk. Yeah, Jackie, you could have got that same talk too. But she said, is Evelyn and Malaysia getting this talk? And I understood what she meant, but say it to Shawnee. Don't just say it in the confessionals. And But she did kind of stick up for OG a little bit when she was like, you know, I don't. she didn't see the, anything that OG has done. You know, she's just talking and Evelyn was like, but I mean, Shawnee was like, but it's, you know, Shawnee, I can't even do it. You know how Shawnee talks about OG and she just keeps like, I cannot stand Shawnee now. Like, I never really liked her. But as this season has went on, it's just like she gets on my last nerve. She wants to be this prissy, bougie woman, but she's so messy. Like, if you really wanted to be what you want to portray yourself to be, you wouldn't even be on the show. To be quite honest with you, you wouldn't even be on the show. You would be making these girls act a fool, and you would just sit back and take your EP cut. But you want to be on this show because you want to be in all of the mess, but you want to keep your hands clean as well when you get into the mess. Ah, just so frustrating. Let me move on. Um. So anyways, Kristen talks to Thomas on the phone, and she tells Thomas, that she had a blowout with CC and everything. Like, and really, she just wants reassurance for Thomas that he's okay with her not making up with Byron and uh, CC. And he says that he feels like a lot of apologies need to be made all around and, and yada, yada, yada. I don't know. She just wants him to have a relationship with his dad, but she's okay with not having a relationship with him. That is what CC has been saying this whole time. That she is okay not having a relationship with you. You were the one that just kept poking and poking and poking and picking. Talking about her with people you know who don't like her. And that is the whole problem with the whole with Kristen. Anyways, you know certain people don't like her. Like y'all, like she in Malaysia, you know Evelyn don't like her. I don't know why Phoebe has a problem with CC, but she does. For some reason, Shunny does. Either. You know these people don't like her, but yet you keep key, you laugh at all the jokes, you do all of this with people, and yet say you want to have your family. No, you don't, because if you did want your family, you wouldn't do all that with them. So anyway, that's what that. Thomas just, I don't care. So then we see um, CC and OG go to the hot springs, and Jackie comes up, and they, okay, so. Jackie lets them know that OG is not welcome to the lunch. And OG was like, why am I not welcome to the lunch? And she, Jackie tells her because Shuddy thinks she's a little aggressive. You know, that same spill Shuddy's been spilling all season about OG. And OG is just like, see, once again, she puts no accountability on Evelyn. No one holds her accountable. Nobody puts her to the fire for things she's done. And Cece says Evelyn was holding a bamboo stick, which is Asian, which she thought was cute and funny or whatever. And she, <laughs> Cece, but anyways, she was like, so she she's does all that. No one says anything to her. She chases Cece down. No one said, like, they're blaming this all on OG. And I'm like, what show are we watching? This is what's frustrating about this show. It's like, what, what are we watching? Why is this OG's fault when Evelyn chased Cece down 
And no one said, like, Malaysia didn't say anything about it. Kristen didn't confront her about it. Like, y'all are all wanting to be with Evelyn and Shawnee so bad and not lose your spots on this show so bad that you'll go with what's wrong just so you can get your check. That And, like, that's the only, like, you will you will agree with what's wrong. Like, even Phoebe makes comments about Cece. I don't even know y'all interacted like that. Like, when do y'all interact? It just makes no sense. Anyways, so OG um so OG just says no one holds Evelyn accountable. So while they these three girls are talking, the other girls go and they view they go to this, I guess it's a zoo, it's an animal thing. They go anyways, they go there. After they finish watching the animals, they say, um, where's the hot springs? And Evelyn has went and printed out these receipts that she has. Y'all, when I say this show is tiring, like, even reviewing this, I can feel the way I felt as I was watching when it's like, oh my god, when is this going to be over? So, Evelyn says, Evelyn has printed out these receipts, like, where did you go to be able to print these receipts out? Like, what in the world? So they said the man, the guy tells them, yeah, we're close to the hot springs. And Shawnee's like, oh, my goodness. And Malaysia's like, oh, I didn't want us to be close. Y'all shut up and go on with her to the hot springs because y'all know y'all want to see this. You're messy selves. So then they go to the hot springs or whatever. Cece, OG, and Jackie are getting into the vehicle. Excuse me. They, Evelyn and them come up and they're sitting down. De- like, we see them sitting down. We see them walking up. They're there. And OG is like, mm, I know what a set up looks like when I see it and this is a setup. She says, now they don't want to invite me to their dinner they're having, but you wanna come and have a you know conversate converse with me right now or whatever. And the whole reason they're doing this is because Evelyn's like, this is too good to wait until the states to do it. I'm gonna do it right here. Girl, we know it's the end of the trip and y'all gotta do this right here. Like cause everybody knows basketball wives goes off at the end of this trip. But anyways so she says, I'm going to confront her right here or whatever. So Jackie says, I don't want us run. Like, I see my friends standing over there, and I don't want them thinking we're running like some punks or whatever. And I'm like, Jackie, stop it. Yeah. Ooh, I almost curse. <laughs> and I try not to curse on my videos. But in real life, I curse like, I curse like a seller. So it'd be hard doing these videos sometimes, especially watching this show. But anyways, so... CC is like, I'm staying in the truck. I don't have time for this. I wish CC had got out because your friend OG did defend you. Like, she rides for you all the time. So, it would have been nice if she had got out and been there to back CC up. Excuse me, OG up. But I think had she gotten out, it probably would have escalated because Kristen would have had something to say. So, it might be, it's probably better she didn't get out. But anyways, so Jackie says, okay, OG said, yes, y'all can talk or whatever. So, Evelyn says... Um, you said Chad was in the DMs and OG was like, yeah, he thinks I'm beautiful or whatever. And she was like, like, listen, but I told you that because you sitting here calling me ugly and stuff, which Evelyn was like, what adult calls another uh, adult ugly? Like what kind of child elementary intermediate high school thing is that? But so anyways, they go through this whole, you know, the whole thing. And then Evelyn wants to bring out receipts. And everybody is like, who oh, she got, like, the other group is, like, really thinking, she got you, OG, she got you. So then OG was like, mm, that's some Twitter stuff. Let me get you the phone number stuff. Now, listen, I was still not into this show at this point. I was kind of watching, like, okay, what's going on now? And so when OG was getting that phone, and she told Evelyn, Evelyn was like 2013, 14, and um, OG was like, we made it 2011. Now, that did wake me up because the look on Evelyn's face, she was stuck. She was like, what? And so now she's like in the confessional, oh, she's a groupie. She knew he had somebody. She's a groupie. She's this and that. And I'm like, but why is she all these things? And Chad is nothing because clearly y'all were in the relationship. And she tells Evelyn, I never slept with him. We were just friends. He tried it. And so she starts reading off the text messages where he was trying to get, he was trying to get at her. If we go by her text messages, remember, go to her IG story 
I don't know if I told y'all that in the beginning of the video. Go to her IG story, OG's IG story, because she got the receipts up. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> but I, you know, I went because I was looking. I'm nosy. So I saw that. <laughs> but yeah, she got the receipts up where Chad was trying to um get at her or whatever in the text messages or whatever. And they were all like, well, you know, you were asking for his phone number. Clearly she got his number or he got her number because they've been communicating and it hasn't been just through twitter it was text messages and everything and um anyways evelyn was stuck like she pretty much was stuck and so then um what happened i don't know how they got on this whole comment um so then they start talking and oh she just tells evelyn chad wants a black woman I don't know how they got on this, but she says you could put the gel on your hair. You could say the need, excuse me. You could say the N word all you want to. And I was glad that OG did bring that up because it is frustrating when people who are not black want to use that word so freely. And I know people are like, well, people do it like in New York. It's the neighborhood you grew grew up and you you know grew up around, and it's all this, but. I'm from Texas. I'm from the South. And it's not that like, no, <laughs> no, because when people say it here, they say it with the intent that the word was created for, you know, when, when there were slavery times and all, that's how they say it. So I do have an issue and I've always had an issue with people saying it. Now I know this whole thing going on on social media about Evelyn saying, um, she's Afro- She's an Afro-Latina and everything. And everybody's like, she only does that like when it's convenient for her. Because I didn't know she identified as one. I always thought I heard her say she was Puerto Rican. But anyways, Cece goes at her and they're like, what is her being? That has nothing to do with this. Jackie says no comment. And that's because Jackie no. <laughs> Jackie says no comment. And all the other girls, of course, on Evelyn's side are like, that has nothing to do with it and all that. And then, but, I mean, Evelyn couldn't do anything. She, she, OG really had, once again, for the third time, Evelyn tries to come for somebody. And once again, they send her packing. And so she walks away. I mean, what else she going to do? And so OG is like, you can have all the fake, um, fake breasts, fake booty. You could do all that. But I, mine is genetics, you know, mine is genetics. I don't, I didn't have to pay for this. And everything, and Evelyn's like she's rolling her dusty, her dirty behind, and I'm like, you just patted your. <sighs> That's why I can't stand about this show. But anyways, so they're le they get in the car and they're ready to go because Evelyn has walked off at this point. She doesn't. Evelyn knew C um, OG had got her, and like there was nothing else to say. So she's walking off, and then Shani has the nerve to say, "Jesus loves you, OG." And OG's like, I know, that's why I will always prosper. Like, what what, what kind of jab is that? Like, Jesus, uh, I can't stand Shawnee. Honestly, I cannot stand Shawnee. And I doubt I even want, if, because Shawnee is, like, producing, even though I know her, you know, her EP, her EP card or everything that she says she has, it's not really that big because the only reason they really got Brandy off the show is not because of Shani. It's because not because Shani wanted to fire her because VH1 told her no to that or the, the production told her no to that. They only got her off the show because they iced her out, kind of like they're doing OG. Because she doesn't, like, everyone likes to talk about her EP card and how she has this big role. And I'm like, no, she does not. She can't fire anyone. And we've proved that. It's been proven that because the person that she, the one time she tried to fire somebody, she couldn't get it done. Oh my gosh. I'm just sick of this show. That Drake song came in my head. Sick of these. Okay. Anyways. So, they go off or whatever. And Malaysia says, okay, so they finally have this lunch. And they say, and Shelly says, Jackie's supposed to come. And Malaysia's like, I don't want to sit anywhere near her. She don't want to sit near you either. <laughs> like, it is what it is at this point. And so, they're all talking about OG. 
And Kristen is like, Evelyn's receipts or something. I don't know what she said. It wasn't important. But she said, OG's receipts are disturbing. And I'm like, what? What? Y'all are... Y'all do too much. Like, y'all do too much to be liked and to be in the circle. Like, I'm just frustrated with this show. Like, that's why I can't even review it right tonight. Because this show is just so frustrating to see them literally change the narrative. And I'm like, are you kidding me? Like, we, you realize we are watching this, right? What are y'all doing? Like, we, we are watching this. We see what is going on. And y'all try to change the narrative. Like, I believe OG's receipts over Evelyn's because OG was like, he deleted stuff. He deleted stuff and then sent you that. I, I believe that because in her in her um, text messages and everything, especially the ones she got online, he was clearly trying to talk to OG. He was clear. It's just so frustrating for them to, like, why, why, like, why is OG got to be the aggressive, crazy one or whatever? So anyways, the three the three amigos are all together. And Jackie says, you know what? I, I feel for OG because I've been labeled as the crazy one. This, that, you know, the aggressive, crazy, you know, cra you know how they talk about Jackie. And once again, OG says, I'm disappointed in Shawnee and all of them because Evelyn can do whatever she wants to do and nobody... Nobody calls her out for it. But if I say something, I'm aggressive. I'm over the top. I'm doing too much and everything. And it has just, it, point blank has come down to that. And they try to act like, like earlier when they were talking about color, they were trying to act like it didn't matter or whatever. But this whole season has proven and shown that, yes, it does matter. Because y'all have bullied and picked on OG. Or you have attempted to. And because she wouldn't just bow down to y'all. You're icing her out and everything. So then they go, I don't know, the other table is talking. Um, once again, Shelly talks about OG is aggressive. And then Jack, the, Jackie um, calls Shawnee and she tells Shawnee that um, she can't make it. And they say, well, that's nice of her to call or whatever. Ellen says that's nice of her to call. And Jackie, uh, and Malaysia says Jackie's made her choice. She wanted to prove her point with them. Like, y'all don't like Jackie. She should have stayed over there. Y'all don't like Jackie. And Jackie doesn't see it now, but she's going to see it at the reunion. Um, so after Jackie gets off the phone, you know how she does that prayer. Remember when Doug Creasy used to do that after every shot he made? Him and Jackie used to share, like, I used to pray. Y'all remember that? Okay. Anyways, she, Jackie does her little, you know, she does her, like, a prayer, and OG was like, yeah, pray for Evelyn, pray for Evelyn, girl, and then OG gets on her knees and starts talking about pray that Evelyn doesn't take any more, anyways, that Evelyn doesn't sleep with anybody else just to get a bag, that has a bag, like, she pray that she does and then Cece gets down, and, and Jackie's like, please get up off your knees with this prayer, it was funny to me, though. I don't know, y'all. I'm sick of the show. <laughs> I'm done with this review. Um, oh, and she says, pray that Evelyn keeps her mouth closed before I break her jaw and everything. And Jackie had earlier was talking about, like, that's why, see, I mean, um, OG, you can't say that kind of stuff. All the girls have said that kind of stuff. Evelyn said last week, I'm going to FCC up, but that's not aggressive. Then you hunt her down with a, a bamboo stick or that leaf or whatever. That's not aggressive. Like, you said what you're going to do, and then you attempted to try to do that, but you're not considered aggressive. Like, get out of here with this. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to watch the reunion. Then I'm probably done with Basketball Wives, period. Like, in the story, especially, like, you see, like, they're supposedly had fired OG and all that. Like, I, I'm not here for it. And then for Evelyn to be like, she doesn't want to sit on the stage with someone who break like girl, you still talk to your so-called alleged abuser. What are you talking about? And then Jackie walks off and says, "Yeah, good luck on your ratings. You should have left at the beginning because if you had left with CC and OG, because it looks like they kicked OG out of the reunion. Tammy didn't come. CC left because OG couldn't do it. If you have, you had just left. I wouldn't have even toned into the. Re I would have saw that part of the reunion and then clicked the TV off or whatever. But anyways, it is what it is, y'all. 
Enjoy the rest of your night. That's basketball wise. I'm so glad it's over. I'm so happy this is over. Bye.